Alright guys, welcome back to another part of The Walking Dead, Season 2, Episode 1. This might hurt a little. Ow. How's she look? Her suturing skills need some work, but otherwise, I say she should be fine. So, it wasn't a lurker bite? If it was, the fever would have already set in and her temperature would be through the roof. Nice, nice. I wish you wouldn't have done what you did. I was hurt and you weren't helping. What do you mean? What do you mean? You manipulated my daughter. I asked for her help. She's not someone you can just ask for help. Why not? I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. But there are a few things you need to know about my daughter. Okay. She isn't like you. You may not get that initially, but once you're around her for a while, you'll understand. If she knew how bad the world is, what it's really like out there, she would cease to function. Oh, she's... She's my little girl. She's all I have left, and I would ask that you stay away from her. Uh... I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't know. I didn't know. She'll be the swag or okay. something. You're forgiven. Just don't make any more mistakes. Hey, uh, brought you some food if you're hungry. That's gonna leave one hell of a scar. Better than losing it. Better than losing it. Well, you can say that again. Scars? They're way cooler than stumps. What? Nothing. I just had a friend who lost his arm once. That's all. We, oui, of course, yeah, because. Ah, uh, damn. <laughs> I just want to say I'm sorry for, for being a dick out there. I got kind of aggro, and that was definitely not cool. Nick's been known to go off every once in a while. Don't hold it against him. Yeah, I guess we all have our moments. You definitely had one of It's okay. You were just protecting your friends. I get it. Well, I didn't mean to be so harsh. I just... Uh, we had a bad experience once. We've all had bad experiences. Nick lost his mom. We took care of someone who got bit. It was my fault. I... It was no one's fault. We thought we could control it, but we couldn't. And then she turned, and his mom was standing right there, and she got attacked. Ah. And there was nothing we could do about it. Anyway... Hopefully you understand. I do. Yeah. Making good relations. That's the aim of a game. <laughs> so, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of on my own now. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. You can let yourself heal up. Take some time to sort things out. Do you think everyone else will be okay with it? They'll just have to deal with it. I don't like that answer. So, what happened to your parents? If you don't mind me asking. Here's the life story. I mean, I assume what happened to them is... What happened to just about everyone's parents? You're just so young. Didn't think you could have made it on your own for so long, but... Other people take care of me. you did. Other people took care of me, if that's what you're asking. I was just curious on how you made it this far. I just tried to stay with good people and not do anything dumb. Hey, 
I'm sorry. I... I shouldn't have asked. My parents went on vacation and left me with a babysitter. And they never came back. We went to Savannah to find them. But they were already dead. Uh, well, I'm sorry to hear that. Then I met we. This man found me and took care of me. We met up with other survivors and we all tried to make it. But it didn't work. His name was Lee. He taught me how to survive. He's the reason I keep my hair short. Oh. What uh, happened to him? Same thing that happens to everyone. The same thing that happens to everyone. But he saved me first. Lots of times. Well, sounds like he was a real good guy. Yeah. He was. I hate to interrupt, but I'm out there standing watch and I can't help but notice this place is lit up like a goddamn beacon in the middle of the woods. Yeah, it's time to turn in anyways. Now get your winks while you can, because we're going fishing at first light. A couple fresh brookies for dinner? Mm, wouldn't that be nice? You're still here. Oh no. Here's here's the bad side. I gotta stay stay cool. Keep my temper low. I wouldn't get comfortable if I were you. Whose baby is it? Whose baby is it? Excuse me? If it's not Alvin's, whose is it? You shut your fucking mouth. I won't tell. I won't tell. I knew you were going to be a fucking problem. You got what you came here for. Now go. <laughs> Is that the right idea? <laughs> How you holding up? I heard you got an earful from Rebecca last night. Once she gets going, there's no bringing her back. Her bark's worse than her bite. What's her problem? What's her problem? Yeah, she's got a lot on her mind lately. Bringing a baby into a world like this. <laughs> Walk over a door. How far are these fish traps? It ain't much further. Anyone teach you how to shoot? Yeah. By that I mean taught proper. Any idiot with a finger can shoot. Yeah, but not a rifle. Well, that makes sense. Less kick. This thing would probably knock you on your ass. Probably. Nick was about your age, first time I took him hunting. Came across this beautiful 13-point buck just standing there on the ridge line. The boy takes the rifle, he lines up the shot just like I taught him, and then I hear him start whining. He turns to me and he says, I can't do it. I can't shoot it, Uncle Pete. Please don't make me shoot it. Really? No way. Hey! Why didn't you wait? You want us standing around while you piss on a tree? You know where the river is, boy. Anyway, so I grab the gun out of his hand before the big buck runs off, when bang, the gun fires. Boy nearly gut shot me. And of course, the buck gets away. What are you going and telling her this shit for? Because <laughs> you almost blew her face off yesterday. Seems relevant. Trying to let her know it's nothing personal with you. Why are you always giving me a hard time? Because you're always giving everyone else a hard time. I apologized already. She accepted. Okay, well, I didn't know that. It's fine. He apologized. 
You're always trying to embarrass me. You're doing a good enough job of that on your own. Leaving us again. I know where the fucking river is. <sighs> so anyway, I found that buck later that season. Shot it right in the neck. Brought it up to my sister's figuring she'd want to freeze some of the meat. Nick didn't speak to me for weeks. Sometimes you gotta play a role. Even if it means people you love hate you for it. He doesn't hate you. You should tell him that. You should tell him that. Uncle Pete! Uh oh, what's happened? Nick! Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Are these zombies or. Oh, these are people. These are people. Ah, full of holes. Who do you think did this? Not sure yet. But it ain't your average gang of thugs, that much I know. Think about it. Your Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? Check those guys there. Be careful. Some of them might still be moving. Oh, this is a bit... This is a bit creepy. Let's talk to them. What can I do? See if you can find anything else. Like what? Like what might tell us who did this. Okay. This one's shot too. Through the head? Yes. Yeah. Check the rest. And look for ammo. We're running low. Let's uh, go talk to Nick. Can I help? I got it. Okay. There are more out there. This wasn't no rinky dink pissing match. What was it then? Fubar. Where are you Fubar? going? We need to get the fuck out of here. Gotta check the rest. What? Why? Calm down and think about it, son. Calm down? We gotta get out of here now! Jesus Christ, get a hold of yourself! Shouldn't we go get the others? Wish we could. But one of these folks might still be alive, and they just might be inclined to tell us who did this. We gotta do this now. Stay here. Keep searching these. This is a dumb idea. I agree, you know, Nick, but... I don't like this either. But sooner or later, you're gonna have to realize a simple truth. What, that you're an asshole? That nobody in this world is ever gonna give a goddamn whether you like something or not. You gotta grow up, son. Whatever. Come on, Clem. You wanna be useful? Keep a lookout on that tree line. Whoever did this might still be out there, waiting for another sucker to stumble across this mess, just like baiting a fish. I'm on, I'm it. on it. You always so agreeable? No. Good. You'll fit right in with this outfit. Look. Just keep your head on straight. Oh. Don't shoot it. If you shoot it, I'm crying. Shot to pieces. Hope this isn't anyone you know. No. Good. Lovely. But then we've got a fishing spear. Or a spear of some description. More on that side. You check out these ones. See if there's anything on them that'll tell us who they were. Okay, so I'm bang in the middle. Um, look at body. I don't recognize him. Okay, let's, let's walk over. Who's this guy? Who is this guy, I wonder? <gasps> That's my bag, isn't it? <gasps> <gasps> a 
It's those guys. <coughs> That's my back. That's my backpack. <coughs> you were in the woods with Krista. The woman I was with. What happened to her? Please, tell me. Tell me. Punch him. Wood. Smack him over the face! Oh well, okay, smack his arm. Break his arm. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> Is that it? Next time on The Walking Dead. What are you gonna do? Someone's outside. Someone came here looking for you. A man. What? Did he say what his name was? We know damn well who it was. Who is he? One of the guys we were with before. What's he gonna do? I can't keep going. I figure we got about four, five more days to reach those mountains. We ain't here to rob nobody. Just relax and put the gun down, man. I thought you were dead. Who? Who did you think? Quim, tell me! This isn't fair. This isn't fair. Oh, so I went with a majority. So hipster. Uh, did you try to save Krista? Yes. Did you kill the dog? Yes. Did you accept Nick's apology? Yes. Did you give the water to the ma a dying man? Yes. Did you save Nick or Pete? That was pretty much 50-50. Okay, continue. Okay, so that was episode one. Um, yeah, I will continue with episode two in the next video. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next video. <laughs>